Hey everybody, so this is going to be a short video today because this is what I'm up to. We've got the power turned off to the receptacle. Uh, Paulo had noticed that this one is completely rusted out. Can you see that? So it's actually quite rusty, probably not safe. It's been full of water and uh, we want to get that replaced. So I've got the stuff. Paulo encouraged me by email saying that uh, he thinks I can do it. So I'm going to try to do it. Tally is my videographer today. And I say it's going to be a short one because uh, I'm a little uh, on the on the kind of burned out side. So I'm actually going to um, head home as soon as we've got this replaced. Since we've got the power off, I'm not going to get a lot of other stuff done tonight. But I'll be back again to continue on. Get a good look at the state of this. There we go. Yum. Okay. What do you think of that, Tom? It's weird. It's an electrical. And I saw a froggy outside. Cool. And it looked almost just like the other one that I it almost looked exactly the same. What's that yellow stuff at the back of your drill? It's a level. Who invented flathead screws? Whatever. Oh, he wasn't flat four. <laughs> okay. It's dead. Good. Landlord was here today, uh, obviously to disconnect the power for us, so that I could do this. And uh, he had a look around for the first time in a while, and he looked at the walls, and he looked at all the work that we're doing, and he said, doing a hell of a great job, Robbie. So kudos to uh, all of the people who have been helping out. I think that uh, knowing that the landlord is pleased is, uh, is a very good thing. So I'm gonna come in tomorrow and actually secure this down because I don't have I don't have the right drill bit for this. They've got the flat heads, but it does have like a nut type thing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna stop at Allendale Home Hardware, pick up the bit tomorrow morning, come back and do that. Now Paula would have loved me to replace the uh, the BX cable. Uh, it still looks like it's in fine shape. The ground has got a little bit of weathering on it, but where it needs to be um, clean it is. So I don't, I can only do so much. It's, it's really, you know, we gotta get this box out of here and everything. The BX looks okay to me, so hopefully, Paulo, you're not upset about that. <laughs> but it doesn't look like, yeah, it's fine cable, so. But the problem is, is we've already traveled over it, and, you know, I just couldn't see going to such huge efforts. Okay, power outlet, here we go. Is that the new one? This is the brand new one, yes. Where, where was it from, Allendale Home Hardware? Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's where I see them. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so hot is on this side, and we know from Paulo that hot is, do you remember? Black. So, black wire on this side. Maybe I didn't want to do that just yet. There we go. I got a, I mean, these are cheap. You can get them for 89 cents. Um, I, I went one step up. It was like a buck 39. I couldn't believe it was so cheap. And um, it's just, you can tell it's a little bit higher grade. I've also got, you remember, the nice one that we reviewed on the show. And I'm going to install that somewhere in here. I just got to determine where would be best for that. <clears throat> okay. Now, I've got the... Lead on there, that's the hot wire, but it's not hot right now. And then I'm gonna put the 
neutral on um, kitty corner to that. So what I mean by that is I've got the lead there. I'm not going to put the neutral directly across from it. I'm actually going to put it diagonal and that makes sure that it's got a good, good circuit. the screws that we don't need. There we go. Okay. So black is there, neutral is there. And by touching both at the same time, good thing it's off. Okay, ground right here. And again, we've got some clean copper here, so I'm just going to use that. So I've still got the second coat of mudding to do, and uh, I'm going to be doing that tomorrow morning as well. Today's been a long day. <clears throat> now I'm just grounding the box itself, so I'm taking this cable and moving it onto the back of the box here. Are you going to put cases on these? Yeah. When are you? And where then are they? Oh, I'll show you. Okay, so I'm just putting that in there. Is this the new, is that the new box for it? This is the brand new one, yeah. And this one, one is the old rusty one. <clears throat> yeah, look at the difference. Okay, so here's the new one. There's the old one. Yeah. Okay, so now this needs to go over here. Go. <clears throat> and tomorrow I'm also going to, well, I mentioned I'm going to secure this to the wall. For today, I'm just making sure it's together, wired, safe. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. So now, this guy is going to go in there. We've got to make absolutely certain. Here's the thing. Notice there's a pretty long ground wire here. We need to make sure that that ground wire does not come anywhere in contact with the lead. Because if it does, you got a short circuit. Um, it also shouldn't come in contact with the neutral because uh, you don't want that as well, but that's not going to short it. It's just not a good idea. And we're trying to do everything Correct. as perfectly as possible, yeah. I kind of don't even like the fact that it's got such a long ground wire, but uh, it is, it's going to be fine. Okay, so... Get this attached. once we're drywalling, but, okay, confirming that uh, there's no short, everything is great, that's how it looks inside, so we've got everything nicely packed, and we can put that on, there we go, and there is our new receptacle, all set and ready to go. 
We're gonna plug that back in so that we know not to work on it if the landlord comes in and makes what it loud. What is that thing? This is a, an electrical circuit tester to tell you if you've wired the wall correctly. But of course it's a light, so if the lights are on, you know not, not to touch it because it's got electricity going through it. So that'll be good. All right, there's our full replace. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Out with the old, in with the new. There's our old receptacle. The inner workings are no doubt just fine. It's just not, uh, yeah, don't want to take the risk. All right. <clears throat> oh, boy. So that's uh, really all that we're going to do today. I really, you know, I want to get the second coat of mud on. Um, it's looking like, oh, well, I'm going to be back here, of course, Thursday tomorrow and uh, Thursday night, Thursday morning. I'm trying to move away and she's moving up on me. It's kind of like I can't get a good frame. Why are you chasing me? Because then you won't look good in the picture because it's zoomed out. Yeah, that's fine. All right. It looks pretty good. Things are looking good. You can see where... Uh, taping needs to be, or the, yeah, it needs to be re, redone here. Uh, this is just more mud, and up here you can see. So, um, wow, you're an extreme close-up girl here. So I'll, I'll give you a better tour um, in the next, don't, don't do that, please. I'll give you a better tour in the next couple of days. Uh, tomorrow being Thursday, I'll be back here, and I'll be able to get a lot more done. Uh, but that's a good thing to have done today. So thanks everybody. Cat5.tv slash studio. Don't appreciate the extreme close-ups. I need a pole that I can keep her back there. But it has the extreme um, zoomed out. Yeah, but you like to walk right up to me. All right, folks, take care. Go to cat5.tv slash studio, please, and find out how you can help out. And uh, I'll be back here and get everything finished up. So Thanks. Bye.